Hi there, and welcome to our video on the first time home buyer's guide in Central Florida. If you're a first time home buyer in Central Florida, then you're probably feeling a little bit of a mixed up excitement and nervousness. Buying a home is a significant accomplishment, but it can also be a complex process. That's why we put together these guides, these uh, videos to help you navigate the home buying process with confidence in our area specifically. But even if you're watching from some other part of the country, it might still be relevant for the most part. My name is Ben Danholm and I am a, a real estate broker here in Central Florida and I have helped countless um, first time home buyers achieving their dream of owning their first home here in the state of Florida, uh, mostly in the Central Florida area, but all, also in other parts of the state. So let's get through some of the, the uh, steps that you need to be aware of when you're buying a home. First of all, Yes, it's essential unless you're a cash buyer, which most first time home buyers are not. It's essential to get pre-approved for a mortgage. One thing that's really important to know about uh, this process is that um, there are two pre's in mortgages. There are pre-qualification and pre-approval. And pre-approval is okay if you um, just want to know for yourself if you can buy a home, because that is, that, uh, is a letter from the lender saying that they will lend you the money if you can verify the information you gave them. So in other words, they have not checked anything. You have just told them what you think your financial situation is. The other pre in mortgage in the mortgage world is pre-approved, which means that not only have you told your lender about your financial situation, you have also sent in verification in terms of in, in the form of pay stops or whatever has you've been required by the lender to verify your situation they have uh, checked your credit score and pre-approval is absolutely essential if you're looking for a home so the first step before you start your process is to get pre-approved for a mortgage like i said this will help you determine how much home you can afford and it will give you a better idea what your budget will be like but and make sure that you shop around for the best rates and you that work with a lender you trust. We work with several lenders so we can give you different options and they all have their specialities and they're all good people, they're all good at what they do, but they might have different options. So it's, it's sometimes worth talking to more than one lender. Then secondly, you have to be patient. If you are buying a home in the market the way it is now, you have to be prepared that you have to put in several offers before you find the right home. Quite often, you are in competition with other buyers, um, so you need to make sure that that you have the time to find your right the right home for you, and don't just rush and settle for a home that doesn't meet your needs. It's really important because you're not. This is not something you can move out of in six months. Generally, I mean, you can sell the home again, but usually, if you sell a home after a very short period of time, you will lose money, no matter how good the market is. So make sure that you find the right home. Take your time, be patient, find the right home. Make sure that your realtor you work with has the same patience as you have to show you enough homes that you find the right home in the end. And once you've found your home, don't skip on the home inspection. The home inspection is a, um, an inspection carried out by a certified and insured um, and licensed home inspector that will go through the home and make sure that everything works, that there are no hidden issues with the home as far as they can see. Uh, it will uncover issues that you might not um, be able to see immediately. It doesn't mean that the home is not good. It just means that you will be aware if there are things you need to repair down the line. It can also be used in negotiation with the seller. Say if there's things they didn't disclose, you'll be able to use that home inspection in many cases to um, to negotiate a lower price or negotiate that the um, seller gives you money to re for repairs or simply fix the things that were um, discovered in the home inspection. So don't skim on your home inspection, make sure you pay, you, you have that extra cost calculated into your budget so you can make sure that the home you buy is in, in the condition you expect it to be. And then don't forget about closing cost. You need money for down payment. Most people know that unless you qualify for a no down payment loan, which a lot of first time home buyers do, or they qualify for a very low down payment loan. 
but there will usually be a little bit of closing cost or a lot depending on what type of loan you're, you're looking at. So make sure that you understand how much money you need for closing, not just for the down payment. Your lender and your real estate agent can help you provide you with an estimate of your closing costs so you don't have any surprises at the closing table. And consider the long term when you're buying a home. Don't just buy a home that meets your needs in the next few months. Think about how your life will be in the next four to five years, maybe 10 years. So you have the stability in your life, you don't have to sell your home because we, life changes all the time. So sometimes it's not possible to predict what your life looks like in five years from now, but at least try to think about is the location right for you, not just now, but in the next few years. Um, with this home hold its value. And again, this is something that your real estate agent should be able to help you figure out um, whether this is a good location for value, whether, um, whether it's a good location for you, that's entirely your decision, but your real estate agent can help you determine whether or not this will be an area where homes generally hold their value. And then one of the biggest things we see when we, we deal with, especially with first time home buyers, because nobody seems to tell them this. When you're buying a home in central Florida or anywhere else in the country for that matter, if you're approved for a mortgage, the mortgage has been approved based on your financial situation on the day when you got approved. So if you go out, buy a car or furniture or any other big purchase, or even if you receive a large amount of money that you haven't told your lender about in, in um, uh, beforehand, that can be an issue for your loan and you can eventually end up losing your pre-approval. So make sure you discuss with your lender if you have plans to buy a car, whether even if you pay for it cash, because they might have considered the cash amount you have in the bank as your reserves. So if you go spend them on a car, you no longer have these reserves, so you might not be able to get the loan. So before you make any big financial decisions, make sure you speak to your lender and in general from the time you get approved till after you close on your new home try not to spend large amounts of money and try not to receive large amounts of money that you cannot clearly um, verify where they came from another piece of advice is to get a home warranty a home warranty is an insurance policy that will um, or a warranty on on the bigger appliances so if your air condition blows out in the first 12 months, you would have it covered if your fridge or your brains or anything of the other big appliances blow out in the first 12 months, you would have coverage. You can actually quite often get the seller to pay for this home warranty. So you don't even have to budget with it. You can just negotiate. I said just, well, in most cases you can negotiate with the seller and get the seller to pay for you. So home buying is a significant accomplishment for most people. It's something that everybody looks forward to. And it can be an exciting time to go find your home and look at a lot of homes and find the right um, home for you. And with the right preparation and guidance, you can navigate the process with confidence and find the home of your dreams. So if you need help navigating this home buying process in Central Florida or anywhere else in the state, consider working with a real estate broker like myself. Um, I'm an expert in this market and I can give you all the advice you need. I work with mortgage brokers, we have a legal team on hand, we have home uh, inspectors, we have everybody on our team that you need. So contact me, you can send me an email, my email is ben at maximrealtors.com, or you can call or text me at 407-288-0704, or you could simply comment below this video and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching and happy house, house hunting wherever you're looking for your next, next home.